So why are insulators such a problem in an ESD control environment? What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that insulators, they don't lose their charge unless you have ionization there. And they actually can cause an issue with the device. So what I have here is I have my field meter. I'm going to start with that. It's grounded because these field meters need to be grounded. I connect the, the charge plate to it. So this plate again is connected here. This plate is floating. So we're going to measure the voltage that's uh, assumed on this plate. It goes from there to a data logger and the data logger then goes to my computer so I can record the voltages and I can show them to you. So as I did in the other demonstration between charging at my two metal, a metal plate and my Delrin plate, I'm going to start this recorder. Charge up like I did before. And I'm going to bring this close to the charge plate, but I'm not going to touch it. And you can see that there's a voltage that gets induced on the plate. Now the interesting part is you notice I bring it close and bring it away, charge is kind of gone. It's not a big deal for the field to be there if it comes and nothing gets connected. But what happens if the field is there and then the part gets grounded? So I'm bringing it close. Now I'm grounded with my wrist strap on and I touch that plate. See the plate goes to zero. That actually was a discharge. Now, if I unground it and take it away, you notice there's an opposite charge. That's because to order for everything to be neutral, when I grounded it, actually there were charges that moved on or off the plate in order to balance it. And if I touch it again, there's another discharge. So this will induce a charge on a part because I can't get rid of the charge. And then if it becomes grounded in the presence of that field, I get a discharge. Unground it, another discharge. That's the problem with induction.